He is the cornerstone for pretty much any hardcore jazz, jazz pianist that I ever, ever encountered. He, he always swung. Whenever we played, he was, he was into the swinging mode by the first eight bars. There was no question about it. He always had a groove going, and, and I think, for me, that, that is his legacy. He has a touch of the piano that is unique. If you were in the classical world, you would, you would uh, compare him to uh, Vladimir Horovich, and you would say that it's incredible. Uh, how he would one note can make something sing. Oscar Peterson was born on August the 15th, 1925, in a small limestone house in Saint Henri the hub of Montreal's black community. He was the fourth of five children. We always got along well, but as youngsters growing up, well, we weren't allowed to be hanging out in the streets playing, so we had to find entertainment at home. Oscar's father, Daniel Peterson, taught himself to play the organ while serving aboard a merchant ship in the early 1900s. Convinced that music was his children's only escape from poverty, Daniel bought the family a piano that he could not afford. On a railway porter's salary, he had to sacrifice necessities like food and clothing. I think my dad one day at the dinner table discovered that I had some kind of pitch recognition due to clicking coffee cups and glasses, you know, and went to the piano and checked them. And I said, that's, I think that's an A or an E or an F sharp or something. And they found out that way. I didn't even know what they were talking about, really. Even though his early life was filled with music and the strict Christian values of his West Indian parents, young Oscar still found time for having fun, often at the expense of others. One time, the boy next door, Oscar put a tub of water on the door. Then he said he invited him over. Of course, Dad was out of town. And uh, when the when he came over, the Oscar opened the door and, of course, the water. I mean, he did those sort of things. He has never outgrown his boyish sense of humor and love of practical jokes, an endearing quality that would later reduce fellow musicians and friends to tears of laughter. 